the cartoon world exists in a gooey space-time, a multimorphic space where categories are no longer ontologically distinct. Culture and nature have collapsed into a single, indivisible plane, a flat plane of protoplasmic, non-indifferent nature, populated by non-human subjects. History has come to an end. The world has come to resemble the cartoon landscape. The golden age of cartoons proved a prophetic, short-lived glimpse of the world we now find ourselves within. It seems like anything can happen, yet not anything can. There are rules that emerge as, over time, we begin to make observations. Imagination is the mother of all reality. The cartoon landscape existed from the mid-1920s through to the early 1960s. The product of the collective imaginations of directors Tex Avery, Chuck Jones, Bob Clampett, and the anarchic activities on Termite Terrace, as well as through the early elastic creations of Walt Disney and Uber Iwerks and the permeable screen of Max Fleischer. A multiplicity of heterogeneous factors collided to cause the emergence of the cartoon landscape. The new technology of photography changed the way it was possible to perceive the world. The photographic experiments of Edward Mybridge broke down movement into cells, enabling motion to be seen in a new way. And these new images soon began to move. The thomiotrope had become popular in the 19th century, and this soon led to the phanakistoscope, a device that used the persistence of vision principle to create the illusion of motion. This was swiftly followed by the zoetrope, a spinning drum with strips of images viewed through slits, which allowed pictures to magically move for the first time. These soon resulted in the invention of the simple animated cartoon. Law 1. Anybody suspended in space will remain in space until made aware of its situation. A character steps off a cliff, expecting further pasture land. He loiters in midair, or strolls onwards, blissfully suspended, until he chances to, or is forced to, look down. At this point, the familiar principle of gravity takes over, and the character comes crashing back down towards the Earth. This is Newton's equation that explains gravity outside of the world of the cartoon. But in the cartoon landscape, this equation must be rewritten to take self-consciousness into consideration. In the cartoon landscape, it is only awareness of gravity that causes gravity to intervene. An awareness of the law makes conversion to the law inevitable. There's a history stretching right back to the golden era of cartoons, of attempting to articulate possible explanations for why certain actions make sense in the cartoon landscape. Why the laws of physics could be adjusted or seemingly disregarded, and it not be seen as surreal or fanciful, but instead a very precise exploration of a very particular area of the imagination, which is absolutely connected to the real. 